Hi, thanks for joining me today. So I know a lot of YouTubers do like purchase or pass um, videos and I don't remember um, who started those, but I thought I would join in and go over some pictures that I have seen on Instagram of products that will be coming out soon and whether or not I intend to purchase them. So um, just a heads up, all of these pictures, they are from other people's Instagrams or directly from like either an email or a store website. Okay, so uh, the Instagrammers that I have used are Chic Profile. Uh, I think it's either Chic Profile or Chic Profile Official. I'll put it up on the screen. But she is a UK based um, blogger and she has a lot of access to you know, what collections will be upcoming. So, you know, check her out on Instagram or she also has a website and, you know, she usually has information on approximate dates as to when these things will be coming out. Another one is Mary Tushik and she is, um, I'm not sure what country she's from off the top of my head, but anyway, uh, her posts are, I do have to translate them, but she has a lot of great pictures of things that will be upcoming. And Trend Mood is another one that I use. So if anybody has any recommendations to anybody else who to follow, please let me know. Okay, so I'll be putting the pictures up on the screen as I get to them. And for some of these things, I might know uh, an approximate time when they come out and I'll post that. Otherwise, you know, I, I'm really not sure. So these are just things that I am looking forward to coming out or maybe not quite so interested. So the first thing is Givenchy. So Givenchy is something that's relatively new to me. I My first product that I tried from them were the um, Le, Le Rouge Night Noir or Le Rouge Noir lipsticks. Uh, back in the fall. So that was the very first Givenchy item that I've tried. So far, I have liked pretty much everything I've tried from them. So they have four new eyeshadow palettes coming out. And I am not going to purchase all four of them. Um, so here, two of them, they look a little bit dark for me from the picture. We'll have to see what they look like when they actually arrive here. But I am definitely interested. I'll be getting one or two of those to try out. Okay, so... The next thing would be the Chanel LeBlanc collection. So this is called La Fleur A Lo, which the flower in the water, I believe. And this collection just came out today on the US website. So if you are interested in purchasing anything right now and you are in the US, it is now available. It has been out in other countries um, before today. So anyway, if you are purchasing from Chanel.com, keep in mind you can use the code in the bag for free overnight shipping on anything except the nail polishes. Nail polishes are excluded from that. I believe they have to ship ground. Okay, so this collection, I did place an order. So when that comes in, I will post a video with my swatches and then I'll go ahead and go through the collection in more detail. But there are two eyeshadow palettes. I picked up both of those. There's a lip palette. I passed on that. I don't really like lip palettes where you actually have to use like a lip brush. Um, so I passed on that for now, but we'll see. Maybe I'll change my mind later. There are, there's like a liquid highlighter, which I also picked up. There is, um, what is it? It's like a, like a lid luster type thing for your eyes that I picked up as well. There are two lipsticks. They're not the, um, not the Rouge Allure lipsticks, the ones in like the taller, skinnier tubes. Um, I have to look up the name, sorry, I'm blanking. But I picked up one of those. So there was like a pinky one and an orangey one. I picked up the, the rosy toned one. There are some liquid matte lipsticks. I passed on those. Uh, I'm not personally a fan of liquid lipsticks. I prefer glosses, but for liquid lip products, I just, I've never had very good luck with them. So I passed on those. There were two nail polishes as well that I did not purchase at this time. I think that is everything. Oh, there's a blush. I did pick up the blush as well. All right, so um, that collection, I'm definitely looking forward to. All right, the next thing would be uh, Dolce & Gabbana makeup. So I have never tried any of these. I actually 
wasn't really aware of those until one of my subscribers, um, I'm not sure if she'd want to be named or not, but she um, posted a picture with one of the lipsticks. It was absolutely gorgeous. And um, now they have a primer and I think it's a cushion foundation. Um, that's what it looks like to me in the picture. So they have the, those coming out. Now I have looked around here for Dolce & Gabbana makeup and it seems pretty hard to find. So I'm not sure whether I'll be picking those up or not, but if I come across them, um, I will attempt to purchase those. However, I'm not gonna pay like exorbitant shipping fees from, to get them from another country. So we'll kind of have to wait and see on that. Uh, the Givenchy City Bomb, and there looks to be a powder. I did purchase a City Bomb that reviews up. I like it, I'm wearing it now. The powder, I'm not sure exactly what kind of powder it is. I can't tell uh, what whether it's like a foundation powder or what, but I am interested in finding out more about that, and that would be a potential purchase. Another thing that they have coming out is, hold on, I'm just checking my list. Uh, there's a shimmer powder, so I'm, I'm guessing it's a highlighter. The only picture I've seen is kind of dark, but there's apparently a lighter shade that is coming out as well. So there'll be two shades, a light shade and a dark shade. So depending on that, what that light shade looks like, that is something I may purchase as well. All right, the Guerlain Cherry Blossom Collection. I'm not sure if that's what it's called, but that's what I've been calling it. So I live in DC. There is a Cherry Blossom Festival every year and uh, I love the cherry blossoms. They are beautiful. My grandmother has always been really enamored with cherry blossoms. So it's just something that, you know, to me, it's a little personal. So I am trying very hard to get this. I know this collection's already out in other countries and they had bits and pieces up, um, you know, on Saks, but I haven't seen it at any other retailers. I was able to finally track down the two lipstick cases in Texas and those are being shipped to me here. And um, basically I haven't seen the meteorites anywhere. Um, the, the perfume I haven't seen, although I don't know if I'd purchase the perfume or not. I'd have to go and smell that in person. And then the lipsticks. So they are engraved with uh, the cherry blossoms on the side of the actual lipstick bullet. But the one color is number 62, which I actually have here. Um, it's part of the regular line. I think both of those colors are part of the regular line, but they have a limited edition lipstick bullet with the actual engraving on there. So this is a shade that I wear. I actually have it on under the gloss right now, but it's like a, it's a pink and it, it's kind of like a, a little bit bright. So it brightens up my face, but I do already have that color, so I don't plan on picking up that shade. However, I am going to purchase the other color that I don't have with the special cherry blossom engraving. In addition, I do not have a picture of this, but there are five new shades that they are adding to the Rouge G line, and I have not been able to find all five of those yet, but I found a couple of those and I did order those. So I'm not sure when they should be here, hopefully by next week but um, I'm, I'm not positive they haven't shipped yet. So we'll see. <laughs> um, then the next thing would be the Pat McGrath complexion products. So I believe these are, there's a concealer brush and I think they're both different types of concealer. I'm not positive. I haven't looked into it in a lot of detail yet, but when this comes out, I will consider it. I'm not positive whether I'm gonna buy this or not, so if you guys have any, you know, if you really want to see it or you really don't care, let me know. But I'm kind of like on the fence. So I'm not sure if I want to try it or not. I do really like her lip products and her eyeshadows. I have not tried her face products. Um, so I'm just, yeah, I'm kind of on the fence. All right, next thing would be the Viseart Paris Edit. And this is already out. This has been out for, I think, a week or so now. And I was super excited to see this picture of it. And I was going to pick it up right away. I actually, it came out late at night here. And so I stayed up. I went, <laughs> went online. I was going to get it. And then I finally saw some swatches of it. And it looked way, way warmer on the swatches than it does in the actual photo of the palette. So I've decided to pass for now. 
so I don't need any more pinks and purples of a warmer tone. If it were more of a cooler tone base, that is something I pick up. So when I get a chance to see it in person, um, then I may reconsider, but as of this moment, it's a pass for me. And then the lip glosses, I didn't know that they were technically part of this collection, but I did just order those. So I had actually ordered them separately. I didn't realize they were, um, you know, a, a collection, but I have those. I haven't gotten a chance to try them yet, but I will have those in a video next week. So I'm eager to test those out. And next, oh, Garolyn, I forgot to mention this. They have a primer that um, they now have to match the L'Essentiel foundation, which is my favorite foundation <laughs> at the moment. The primer though, I'm on the fence about, I wanna see it in person because it is meant for more oilier skin. And I, I'm kind of dry right now. As I've been getting older, my skin, S, I'm sorry. As I've been getting older, my skin has been getting drier. I used to be oily in combination and now I'm like normal or dry. So I'm not sure if it's gonna work for me or not. So I may or may not get that. I plan on seeing that in person and kind of just seeing what the texture's like, but I am interested in it. So we'll see. The next thing, I'm not, this is a biologique research. I'm not positive that I have said that anywhere closely. I have never tried any of their products, but this popped up on um, the trend mood feed and I'd be interested in trying it. I know it's a, you know, it's one of those brands that is not readily available. You have to go to, um, you know, certain like spas and things to get it. So I'm not sure whether I'll, I'll get it or not but I am interested in uh, seeing more about it. So this is a maybe. Anybody have any experience with the brand, please let me know. Um, you know, I'd love to know more about it because I have not tried it. All right, next is another primer. This is the Surratt primer. This was just released at the beginning of the week and this is something I'm really considering purchasing. So, I'm not 100%. I also really want to try the Victoria Beckham um, primer. I know a lot of people really like that. If anybody uh, has tried that, let me know if that's something you think I'd, I'd like. Um, but these two kind of, you know, I'm, I'm interested in this and the Victoria Beckham. So I'm kind of like thinking about them. All right. So then the next thing that I have seen, this uh, Kogan Doe, this is the, I can I can never say this correctly, the Maifanshi uh, Brightening Moisture Powder. I have the Maifanshi um, Loose Powder and the, what is it, the Natural Lighting Powder, and I have used both of those for years. So this is something I'm considering, but honestly, the thing that's making me, like I would have bought it right away if it was permanent, but the fact that it's limited edition makes me kind of pause because I'm really kind of tired of getting these limited edition items and then if I run out, not being able to find them. So I'm I'm not sure because if I get it and love it, then it's gone. So I, I'm not sure, I'm, I'm thinking about this one. So, and then, oh, Clay de Pell Lip Glorifiers. So when I first saw these, these came out, the first time I saw these was a few weeks ago. So they actually have them online at Nordstrom, probably in the store, but I haven't been there in a while. So I was going to purchase one and I was looking at getting possibly the pink or maybe the orange. And then I was reading more about them and each one of them has like a different scent and so forth. And you know, they're, they're slightly different. It's not just different colors. So now I'm like really not sure which one to get or if I should get all three. So I'm thinking about these. Um, there is a set of all three on Nordstrom and it's like, I think it's probably the, the same price as what you would get if you purchase all three individually, but it has like some samples or something with it. So this is something I'm considering, but I'm not in a rush to get. And what is this? The Armani Neo Nude line is going to be adding a new water-based foundation. This is something I'm interested in. So I will probably pick this up and test this out when that comes out. I'm not sure when this is coming. I wanna say I saw something that said March, but I, 
honestly, I'm not sure. If I if I find more confirmation while I'm editing this, I will post that you know above. All right, next thing would be the Givenchy. They're coming out with a couture collection or couture edition. And this is basically black lace. It's kind of a, a copy of the Dolce & Gabbana black lace from what it looks like to me. So as far as I know, Dolce & Gabbana did it first, but it does look really pretty. So I am interested in seeing what's in this line and um, possibly picking this up. So I don't know what is in the square box. I think it's another loose powder. If it is the same shade as something I already have, I'm not going to pick that up. Lipstick, probably will. I, I love lip products. They are my weakness. And then Dior, uh, they're coming out with some new glosses. So 12 new glosses. This is the Dior Attic Stellar Collection, I believe. I'll probably pick one up to try and we'll see how that goes. And I think that is everything I have on my list. So if there's anything that you guys have seen that I didn't cover, um, please let me know if there's something that you think I'd like. And if you have any opinions or thoughts on any of these items, please let me know. I'd love to hear some feedback. And um, yeah, that's basically it. So I'm excited for these new things that are coming out. Although I do wish some of these things would slow down a bit so I have more time to enjoy everything that I have recently purchased. So, um, all right. Well then, I guess that's it for, for now. Thanks for watching and give me a thumbs up if you like this video. Subscribe if you haven't already and you're interested. And I hope to see you in my next video. Thank you so much and have a great weekend.